You've got the smallest indicators in the world. I've not noticed that before. Oh, this is brave. You're about to get hit by a lorry. Just putting it out there. And say good, say thank you to him for for stopping. I mean, in fairness, I'm glad he stopped. But I've never seen a motorbike accident before, and it'd be a, make a great story for my first ever vloggy bloggy thing. Within two minutes, I put a crash in. I'd get some like and subscribe for more crashes. Yeah. I think once you've done it once and got used to the pain, I reckon you'd be alright. Mark's, Mark's not agreeing. Well, you'd have to like last minute ride forward so it just clipped your wheel and spun you around like a rag doll or something. Yes. Yeah, drift. Yeah, for, for all of those people out there that can't hear him, Mark is whinging about the KTM motorbike that didn't let us out. Um, if we can, if we can get close enough to him, we can get the number plate, we can get the word out is, and find him and call him an ignorant wanker to his face. This is true. I mean in fairness, I could I, I might not be behind you. Because <laughs> you wouldn't know anyway. I could be miles away. <laughs> You looked, right, when you did that, I'll be honest, you looked a bit like an owl. <laughs> you know when they bring, the, they bring their head round 180? Yeah. Do it again, do it again. Hold on, do it, do it again. <laughs> that is wicked. I have not a clue what you meant about the Travis thing. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a apparently there's an advert or something online or something that is an owl walking along and it's make him work make him work for it, Travis. You got this, Travis. Make him wait for it. Boom. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Maybe um, if this actually makes. The video, um, maybe Mark could put a link in. I don't know if that is that too technical. Is that doable? Oh, it's, it's, it's just here. Fair play, he's just pointed out that tying his shoes is a bit difficult. Have you moved on from the Velcro ones then? Oh, okay, good lad. Do the bunny rabbit thing, round the hole, in the hole. So I was going to have a whinge actually, about, I went to Tesco's uh, garage today to put, I was going to say diesel, but that's not true, fuel into my bike. And I stopped, I put the, put the stand down, fortunately the stand was down, because there was obviously half a ton of petrol on the floor and I put my foot down and I damn it slipped onto my ass <laughs> which if you were watching would have been quite amusing if the stand hadn't been down I would have, yeah me and said bike would have been on the deck which in fairness probably still would have been amusing out of interest, Mark, do you know where we're going? 
Are we going to the normal place? Oh, oh, let's see what happens here. Oh, there was an evil there. There was proper evils. Proper evils from Mr. Mark. I think Mark gave him the death stare. I think Mark's gone. Mark is no longer in my ears. It's a sad time. Wow. So, the wind, the wind hits the uh, camera and uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite refreshing how it turns your head. I don't know where we're going. So we've got these cameras, uh, not cameras, sorry. This um, two-way communication -y devices, wizardry, and. Uh, Every now and then, we lose each other. And uh, we're pretty sure it's because Mark hasn't done the update yet. So, Mark needs to do the update still. But I'm gonna ask him if he's done the update, if I can get him back. Are you back? Okay. So we were just, I was just having a chat with the two people that are going to watch this, which is probably, well, three people, me, you and Ant. Uh, so I was just saying that out of interest, have you updated your... No, he hasn't. See, that's why we keep losing each other. Because, and he did say numerous occasions that... He was, uh, he was going to update it, but he hasn't. Oh, we're going left here. Thanks for the heads up. This is great news. Mark has just updated that he doesn't know where we are. The person that is actually the navigator that knows where we are at all times it's a lovely Escort, and as per usual, it's not got Bluetooth, it's not got Bluetooth in because he's on his phone. Get a parrot! Mark's got one of them. So yeah, going back to it, Mark is, uh, doesn't know where we are. The navigator has made us geographically misplaced or lost just a smidge oh well that's okay then at least you know where we are due to the fact you've seen a friggin sign <laughs> I'm, I'm beginning to feel a bit for, for Mark for all the times that I've been in his ears and talking to him and he's working the camera and microphone I say working the camera there's obviously not a lot of working the camera involved it's just attached to your crash helmet um, but yeah it's just a bit random oh I said um oh <gasps> that's your word I, I use the word um and I and I understand that that is actually your word Mark copyrighted the word um is it copyrighted or licensed? It's by Steven Gerrard. Oh, okay. Apparently Steven Gerrard goes M, M, M. I don't really understand that because I know Steven Gerrard plays football. Or did he play football? Does he still play football? No, okay. Oh, okay. As you can tell, Mark's obviously given me input on 
if Steven Gerrard still plays football, but apparently he's a manager for some Scottish team. Um, but I, I'm not really a football person. No, no Mark, your ass does not look big in this. It's just your ass. <laughs> Mark has also been working on his chicken strips. Oh look, oh, Mark's speeding. <laughs> Might want to edit that bit as well. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, Mark was Mark's working. I said I'm again. Sorry, that's two ums. Oh, he knows where we are by a red light. <laughs> if there's a red light, Mark will know where we are. Yeah, so Mark's been working on his chicken strips. I don't know if you can see them. He's doing really well. He's got it down to the start of the R. Oh. He's gone again. Hello. Uh. Oh, okay. It's a valid point. So he has rightfully pointed out that I might have rode his bike the other day. Uh, but I don't think that's true. I think he's, I, I think he's just, oh, it's, I think he's gone. He's off. See you then. We're back. Um, I think he corners very well and we'll all be the judge of this going around this first corner marks out of 10 in the comments please oh oh it's beautiful look at that oh look oh this is gonna be a good one as well oh a little triple there Wow, I would give that a solid seven. <laughs> Let's get up close. He can't see us, he's got no mirrors. Let's get up close. Yeah, oh. Look, he was taught by the late great Barry Sheen. He's either singing David Essex, Silver Dream Machine, to get him round these corners or something by Boy George. He's, he's a big Boy George fan. He models himself on Boy George. Let's see if we can get him back because he's disappeared again due to his lack of update. What do you mean you're hoping it's still recording? The battery might have gone dead, but what was... Honestly, right, I've put a lot of effort into this, into thinking on what, what's happening, what's going on, what, what the scenery is, your steering, you're cornering, as taught by the late, great Barry Sheen. We've discussed that. There's loads of stuff. We might have dropped in a bit about Boy George. Come, 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 in here. You come and go. Oh, hello, you're breaking. Oh, we can... Oh, be this beautiful corner from... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh! I'm pretty sure if he had one of those angle things, that would have been off the chart. Oh, look at the knee out. Well, everyone, we just had a moment of silence. I feel like we've connected so much so that a moment of silence is just, it's just okay. It's just because we're, we're at one with each other. Oh, I would follow him but I feel like the 
I don't want to die today. And we're all good. Oh, you got a bit of room there. You can get past there before you hit the tractor. So we're coming into the lovely village of Tilbrook. Um, at the Charles Wells, the White Horse Pub. Um, I'll be honest, that looks quite quiet. I said I'm again, that's three times. We're heading towards St Neots. It's a nice area. I think this is one of our favourite routes. I say this because this is the route we pretty much do all the time. <laughs> So, oh no, it's not. I genuinely thought that KTM was behind us, but it's not. Oh, hello. I think maybe it is. Look, Mark and KTM rider are having a bit of a moment together. Oh, no, KTM. Just catch up and see what's going on. Mark's just been overtaken by said KTM. And of course, because he's got no mirrors, it was a little bit of a surprise for him, I think. However, it doesn't help that the person on the KTM did go past him quite close. Can you still hear me, Mark? Yes, okay. Ronan Keaton, life's a roller coaster. It's the way you make me feel. It's the smile on your face lets me know that you love me. It's the smile on your face lets me know that you love me. It's the trees. Apparently, when the uh, when we can't hear each other, it's the trees. I mean, I'm right behind him, but it's the trees. Right, just putting it out there. Put, just putting it out there. Mine's up, updated. It's yours. It's a billion one. I've got a billion one apparently. I've once again bought the wrong kit. So. Let's catch up with him. Oh, that's a pigeon. There's a car in a field over there. some sort of dogging spot. Mark's gone. Mark's gone. This has probably stopped recording. I'm just chatting to myself for a laugh. H.E. Payne Transport from Bedford. I'm just putting it out there. You need to clean your lorry. Stobart would not let a lorry out looking that dirty. Just putting it out there. H.E. Payne, a transport, Y. Boston, Bedfordshire. Get your, get your lorry cleaned. I mean, the front looks all right. The rest of it, not so much. Just a little bit of info for you for free. Mark is obviously in another county. has disappeared. Right, let's see if we can find him. We found him. Mate, that silver car, uh, 
I nearly went straight up his ass. Yeah. Right. So this is well I think it's St Neats. Um But we tend to always come here. It's uh, the ambience cafe and restaurant. Um, it's it's a wicked little place, if I'm honest. Good food, not expensive, biker friendly. So, and three, two, one, you're back in the room. See if we can get Mark connected up. After you, mate, I can then. I shall follow her. I will follow you. You may go. Gotta love a bit of sister act. Who doesn't love a bit of whoopee? Who doesn't like a bit of whoopee? Stop playing with your sat nav and move forward. Oh, honestly, it's ridiculous. Car drivers. I can't stomach them. Unless I'm driving, of course. Right, we've managed to ditch that person. What's this person doing? Anything coming, Mark? Yes. Mark's not there anymore. I'm asking Mark if anything's coming, but he's not there. So, I don't know if you can see it. There's a rather nice dog in the back of that car and he's looking, he's looking quite tired and warm. I bet he is warm in the back of there. He's toasty. He's like, let me out. Pedal, 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 pedal. That's handy if I'm to fall off now. There's an ambulance. Knowing my luck, however, I would fall off, it would turn, and it wouldn't see me. Right, let's try and catch up with Mark. There he is. We've just had another comfortable silence. Of course, by the time Mark's finished editing, there won't be any comfortable silences at all. It will just be seamless videoing. Mark, the free ride beans editing guru. I've been having a good chat to myself um, so that me, you and Ant can watch it back. And anybody else. And anybody else, should they want to like and subscribe, like and subscribe. I'm doing some sort of Jedi mind trick when I do that. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. And hit the little bell. <laughs> You've got to hit the bell. So there'll be, so there'll be a bell somewhere around. Oh, okay, so I've just been told the bell is next to the subscribe button. Oh, I missed the spaceman. Babylon Zoo. Spaceman. Always wanted you to go into spaceman. Magic high. Yeah. He was 16 years old when he did that. Do you know that? 16 years old. Interesting information. What year do you reckon that was? Oh, I tell you what, if you know what year it was, comment below. Not gonna lie to you, we'll have probably Googled it by then, but comment below anyway. We like to interact with people. We don't get to talk to many people. We don't interact with people, really. We're kind of geeky and nerdy. So, if people would like to talk to us, 
then oh, apparently Mark isn't geeky and nerdy at all. Even though this is his um, camera setup, he's the guy that edits it. So in no way, shape or form is he geeky or nerdy. The geek will inherit the earth, my friend. Look at Bill Gates. Look at Steve Jobs. All of these people are geeks. I am happy to be labelled a biker geek. Oh, that's nice. A biker geek? How has that reduced our subscribers? We haven't got a subscriber. <laughs> You've got 19 subscribers. You're, you're borderline viral, you are. You are venereal. Quite, I was going to say, I'm quite happy just tootling along, not going into the back of um, moving vehicles. Oh, nicely done. It's a really nice road this. It's what would you call it the Kim Bolton St. Neots? Yeah, it's called the okay, so I'm 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 informed that it's the St. Neots TT. Um I, Okay. Oh look, it's Ryan and Keaton. Ryan and Keaton. I'll try and see a, if I see another poster with Ronan Keaton, I'll try and show people. It's Ronan and Keaton. I find you say it best when you say nothing at all. Is the, I'm pretty sure I've said that one already. There you go, Ronan and Keaton, Ronan and Keaton, Ronan and Keaton people. Ronan and Keaton. Is Mark still there? Hey, he's still there. Gotta check. He goes a bit quiet. Every now and then you'll get an um, but apart from that. And it's, I think that's his meditation, is hum, hum. So this is so, am I right in thinking this is Kim Bolton? Yeah. So this is, okay, so we stopped in St. Neots, so if he happens to edit and put that in, then, and me, I, when I was saying, I think this is Kim Bolton, uh, this is St. Neots, then I was right, it was. Look, there's Ronan Keating again, let's try and get him in. Um, when we do put this out, we should tag Ronan Keaton in, because I'm sure he'd like to hear it and see it. Um, yeah, maybe Ronan, if you're watching this, do you know what I mean? Big fans. Get us some tickets, perhaps. Throw us a bone. We all like to take the missus out. Apparently Mark says, Ronan, you can keep your bone to yourself. Ronan, not me. You throw that bone wherever you like. <laughs> John does not want new face cream. Packed full of protein, I've heard. You can get a mask for that though now, can't you? <laughs> were you telling me that you can get a mask? You were telling me, weren't you? Oh, it's on Facebook. So, according to Facebook, that Mark was that Mark was reading earlier. He obviously searched for it on Facebook. That sperm, 
sperm face packs. Man butter face pack. So, yeah, Mark obviously was on Facebook earlier on. Went into his search bar and put man butter face pack. I, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure I would be openly admitting to that. But I'm sure you can, sure you can edit it out. And if you don't want to edit it out, maybe what you could do is <laughs> tag man butter face pack and <laughs> see, if, see if we can get endorsed by man butter. Free ride beans, sponsored by man butter. <laughs> So, we managed to go about, realistically, has it just gone around the corner again? <laughs> it's full of those people, we're actually on a loop. <laughs> um, yeah, that guy just likes to drive around in circles. Um, 19 people will listen to us talk about man butter. There's Ronan again. There's Ronan. All right, Ronan. Throw us a bone, Ronan. I mean, Ronan's got to be well chuffed that he's reached the dizzy heights of playing in Kim Bolton. Ah. Oh. So where are you playing this weekend, Ronan? Kim Bolton. So, Ronan, if you're looking for a venue, Mark's dad uh, he runs the Conservative Club not far from Kim Bolton you could pop in and uh, maybe do a, an acoustic set we could set up, do a few Irish numbers but yeah, if you want to I mean, I don't know if me and Mark will be available that night but you can certainly turn up I'm sure Mark's dad will be more than happy to pour you a pint of guinea Shut, shut up, who am I kidding Ronan? If Ronan's there, I'm going. I'd even join the Conservative Club. I used to be a member of the Cons Club in Warminster. I would just like to put it out that, right, okay, we're going through, is this Rawns? No. Where's this? Um, right, we're on Kim Bolton Road, and we're going past the Star and Garter. Now, there was Shelveston. Right, so last time when Mark did his video, he said that's a good pub and it's really biker friendly. But he didn't say where he was or the, the name of the pub. So just putting it out there, that's the name of the pub, that's where it is. It's a great pub and they're really biker friendly. Oh, so Mark has just pointed out that He's outside his comfort zone, like, chatting like that. I think he's doing really well. I think his, I, I think, I think your vlog, vlog things are very good. I enjoy listening to him, watching them. Right, let's nod. Ah, oh, he nodded back. Hey! Sometimes you nod and people don't nod back. I find it highly annoying. I get it, if they're doing like a gazillion miles an hour and they don't see you, that's fair enough. Ah, here we go. That looking behind is Mark's, Mark's words for, I'm going to start filtering now. <laughs> oh look, an ambulance, result. Probably going to need one of them. It's all going to go fucking horribly wrong. He always does, horribly wrong, and I'm now I've sworn. No, mate. I don't know whether it's behind me or not. Wow, you need to get some friggin' mirrors then, don't you? Oh, no, mate. <laughs> I tried to duck out your way then when you look that way. As I know, I'll move over here. He'll never know. I am hiding from you. <laughs> Mark's looking forward to when we can both be on the video. It's going to be very entertaining. Which I agree with, to be fair. It's going to be great for us. For everybody else, not so much. I mean, in fairness, this is purely for our entertainment. The, the other nut, 
the other 19 of you can do one. I'm pretty sure, in fairness, one of those 19's me, so the other 18 can do one. Do you subscribe to your own page? Does Laura? Yeah, so that's 17. What about your kids? Sean? Oh, check you out, you've got like 18 legit. I'm one of the old school original. Fat chap original. Start start me up on the charter. <laughs> so, so the hunt is on to find that person. It is around 20 past five on a Monday on the A6 on Monday the 22nd. Monday the 22nd of July 2019 and we are looking for you've probably just finished work I'm not gonna lie to you you're wearing a t-shirt that's just wrong um, but yeah hook us up like subscribe hit the bell don't forget the bell oh yeah well that was interesting I had a a fly hitched a ride in my crash helmet the other day. Um, the only annoyed I opened the visor because it was on the visor. I opened it thinking that might get rid of it and it didn't. And I closed the visor and it was quite happy. Yay! Yay! Um, and it was uh, quite how close the visor again it was quite happily walking around on the visor still I think it was enjoying itself to be fair I think it was like oh yeah no, I'm, I'm having a good time drop me drop drop me off in St Neans he said saved him a lot of energy he got there a lot quicker than he was going to how do you mean I've got to say goodbye Oh, apparently, so my script writer now has just informed me that I've got to say thanks for watching and goodbye. But don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Tap the helmet.